the true reason Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton won't be celebrating New Year's Eve together was revealed. Don't worry if you're upset about unforeseen circumstances preventing you from spending New Year's Eve with your significant other. You are not alone, as well-known a list couple Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani are experiencing the same thing. In a backstage interview with OK on December 18th, Stefani revealed why she and Shelton will be spending New Year's Eve apart this year. Stefani had planned to cheer Shelton on during his performance on New Year's Eve Live, Nashville's Big Bash, but she had an opportunity to support him instead. It's funny because, just as I was about to attend his show, a call from Vegas asked me to fly out there. Remind me never to do Vegas again. I kind of just want to have my own sometimes, not be the host, she remarked after her trip to Las Vegas last year. But she reasoned that she might as well, since Shelton had to go to work. Then I was like, the woman remarked, I'm going to carry it out. I will be working if you are going to be working. I will therefore simply fly in and out. It will be incredible. I am excited about it. Now, don't assume that this indicates a split between the two because they have consistently shown that they are still in love. But while some couples find New Year's Eve to be a major celebration, others don't think much of it. Long-term relationships frequently result in missed holidays or other occasions, and this is far more common than you may imagine. All we can hope for is a fantastic holiday season for Stefani and Shelton. For those who don't know, the two met on The Voice and started dating in 2015. Almost five years later, in October 2020, they got engaged. After getting married in the summer of 2021, Shelton was formally given stepfather status over Stefani's children from her previous marriage to Gavin Rossdale, Kingston, who was born in May 2006, Zuma, who was born in August 2008, and Apollo, who was born in February 2014.